I wanted to end the series on the schedule by taking a fabricator's schedule, which I see in a lot of fabricators where I go, where they have a spreadsheet, they've got the jobs listed on, um, uh, on every row, and they have the hours and they've got the dates. Now, this isn't necessarily a schedule. This is pretty much what I see then out through here. There, there will be dates and these hours spread out. So I've got a list that I'm going to put um, in here just to show you that you can very quickly, very easily put in a schedule into EPM to replace your spreadsheet. So let me show you how I'm, how I'm going to approach this. What I did was, I have all the jobs in here in project management. And what I did was I created a schedule template that just has one line item. Fabrication. If I look at the details of that, um, it's going to uh, give me the opportunity if I wanted to, to break it down by sequence lot. I'm not going to in this video, but I'm giving myself the opportunity. Plus it's going to track my production product progress and bring it over from production control as we fabricate. So uh, setting this up, we're just going to enter one line item. Now I'm going to do one of them. So I've got um, this job. Here's my dates. So I'm going to go to that job here. I'm going to do one of them so you can and kind of walk through it. And then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of them. I'll speed the video up 16 times or something like that so you don't have to watch every second of it. But I, I want to record all of it so that you can see how much time it takes and what it really takes to do that. This really won't be that difficult at all. So I'm going to get a project schedule for this job. I'm going to apply the template. Fabrication only. So I have that in there. So I've got my line item. And now all I'm going to do... 8 1 to 822. I'll put in those dates. Eight twenty-two. All right. And then I'm going to put in my hours of 222 hours. Original estimated 222. And this this particular one is complete. And then I'll go to the next one. So I'm just going to work on that and I'm going to go through, I'm going to do the rest of the projects. I'll record all of it. And then at the, at the end, once I get it all done, we'll see how, how long that took. And then we will also uh, just kind of walk through it and see what we have at that point. So stick with me on this video. It's going to be a little bit longer, but stick with me and we'll see where we get. I'm going to enter a schedule for all these jobs right here.
All right, after entering 73 projects, a schedule for 73 projects in 45 minutes, about 30 some odd seconds a piece, which is not bad at all. Um, not difficult to do. Let's look and see what the schedule is that we actually got in there. Now I could go into any of these projects here and just look at schedule individually, but I want to, on the project management uh, job screen, I'm going to hit the project schedule right here and open up all of the projects. That way I can see everything together rather than look at, looking at them all individually. I can see kind of the global effect of everything here. So pushed all the jobs over, said, okay, now I've got all my projects here. Now, sometimes this can get a little bit messy. So I'm just going to say, I want to say collapse all, and you'll see they'll all go down to just showing me job by job. Now I can expand this out, any of these and see what the tasks are. But since I've just created one task per job, just to mimic kind of the spreadsheet that a lot of, um, a lot of fabricators have, uh, there's not much to look at in the detail, but I can see job by job what's going on here. And this is the project schedule. Now, one of the biggest reasons for doing this is to get your production schedule. So let me go up here and go to production schedule. What I'm going to do, I know these jobs go out into next year. So I'm going to say, let's just go out to the end of April. I just want to look at fabrication resource. I'm not going to look at detail and shipping right now, just fabrication, because that's what I put in for these 73 projects. I'm going to say OK and apply that filter. And now my production schedule is going to, going to come up. I'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to collapse all this and open it back up. So for my fabrication resource, I've got 2,300 hours of capacity per week. Here's all the jobs listed down through here we move over here if it's in red now i'm over capacity so i've got 2300 hours capacity 2300 2345.8 hours planned here which puts me at 102 percent capacity so that's why it's in red here i'm okay here i'm okay actually i'm a little low here but probably try to shift some stuff around in order to bring it over here and fill that gap but then i start getting where we're going over 126 capacity percent 143 155 i'm really getting in to a good bit of overtime there in order to make all that work it starts dipping back down here 147 though going back up and then as we go out you'll see in november really starting to get into some heavy hours so um you know 181 percent capacity so need to really look at farming some stuff out in this area or trying to shift some things around to see how I can level that out. Now, if I want to know what jobs that is, so like, let's look at November 6th here. So I can just scroll down through here and see which jobs that are affecting me in, in that week. So we've got in result of some right here showing up uh, 492 hours 607 415 so i can scroll down and see which projects those are sometimes it's nice to come over here though let's go to no november um let's see here we can november 6th here and then scroll down through here and sometimes it's a little bit easier to see i've got this project which is 4245 hours estimated hours running through that week I can go down through here and kind of see what the big jobs are that are affecting me and see if maybe we can shift some of this around. If I can shift some of this out and assume some of this is going to push out anyway, you know, I get a really good idea of what I need to do. So you, it's very simple to get a one line per project estimate in here that just says fabrication, put your dates in and estimated hours and boom, you've got yourself a schedule that is going to update from production automatically um, you just import your hours and it, it, it uh, that you've actually worked pretty simple um, this is very easy to do you can do this and start using the schedule in here and then expand on this later if you want to put in detailing put in shipping put in all the facets of it put in all all the sequences and build on it but this is an easy way to get into the schedule and start using it 
Hope this video helps. Please let me know if you got any questions on it and uh, we'll try to fix you up.